How is it going, Troublemakers? Welcome into another Movie Commentary Monday. Last week I did a little movie called Disney Descendants, which is about the kids of villains of Disney movies. And in that video I said I didn't really like Maleficent's character, because even as a kid, Maleficent just based on Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is like a fun, goofy, lighthearted game. And all the Disney villains that you fight really didn't scare me, but then there's something about Maleficent is she just seemed evil. Evil. <laughs> but Disney Descendants, she just wasn't, she wasn't scary. Ah, ah. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Ah, ah. <laughs> squeaky, 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 squeaky. I wanna see a fully fleshed out Maleficent. So that's why we're gonna watch this. Best part about this, I can rent this for $3.99, baby. Buy for $19.99? Uh, no thank you. Let's give this a go, baby! I'm actually pretty excited about this. This movie didn't really interest me when it came out, but I did see the trailer for the second one, and that looked fantastic. So now I might be buying in. I might be investing. Oh, nice transition, Disney. There were two kingdoms that were the worst of neighbors. Uh, I hate bad neighbors. In a great tree on a great cliff in the moors. That is a great tree. She was a fairy. A fairy. Oh, that's cute. Fly, fairy! Oh, she gonna heal the tree. Damn. I like you. I'm saving nature. Atta girl. I'm cheering for you. And her name was Maleficent. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm cheering for the villain. Here we go. Oh, damn. They really put budget into this. <laughs> you know what's funny is that this opening literally has more budget put into this than the entire Descendants movie. <laughs> oh, how, how could I forget? How could I forget? A green? A green? Because we're in a forest? Order gods have found a human thief at the Pool of Jewels. <gasps> Is it Flynn Rider? Humans, God. Yeah. People were upset with like cats because that was too human. Honestly, the, the CGI in cats doesn't like weird me out at all. This weirds me out, man. The, the faces are too real on these, like, fairies. Is this not creeping anyone else out? Ah, I hope you die by the end of this. They're hideous to look at. Yeah, insult the tree with the spear. How is that smart, you dumb criminal? Ah, uh, you a kid? You a dumb kid. Hello, dumb kid. You're dumb. And you're just a ghetto. He doesn't have a movie star face, so I feel like he's gonna get screwed over. Who is he? I'm called Stefan. Stefan? He doesn't have a classically handsome face, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be killed. Or cursed, or something bad. Someday, you know, I'll live there, in the castle. No way you're a prince. Where do you live now? In a barn. Ah, you poor bitch! <laughs> you like sleeping in a barn? You poor! <laughs> Man, I gotta slow down. I don't know why. I feel like he's gonna be the bad guy. He's gonna go against Maleficent. So I feel like I just gotta get the digs in early. I hope I don't end up liking him. I invent fairies. Don't tell him that! Well, don't get rid of it either. Yeah, she, she just literally told him her weakness. This is not gonna end well. Thus did the young thief who had hoped to steal a jewel steal something far more precious. Her virginity. And on her 16th birthday, Stefan gave Maleficent a gift. His virginity. <laughs> he told her it was true love's kiss. Was it a lie? But it was not to be. It was a lie! Stefan's ambition pulled him away from Maleficent. Oh, hey, Angie. Dude, Stefan, you're, you're a moron. I don't regret making fun of you at all. You left Angelina Jolie behind? A fairy with magical powers? For what? A castle? You doofus. Wow. What a shot. God, this is beautiful. Maleficent often wandered alone and sometimes wondered where Stefan might be. Probably out banging some barn chick. <laughs> For the human king had heard of a growing power in the moors. Wait, is Stefan the king? How does barn boy turn into a king? No way, right? Like, maybe he's like a general or something. Oh, hey, beardy. Oh, you screwed. She's pissed off from being ghosted. Now is not the time to get on her bad side. Oh, uh, no king to me! Strike him down. Zibbity zap, right? Pew pew. Bring me a head. Yeah, good luck, bro. You guys are not equipped. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, let me see a giant. I really want to see a giant. 
giant trees? Tree monsters? Oh, thank you. Dude, if I saw a tree that came to fight me, I'm like, you win? I give up. I'm going home. Oh, here's a giant. Here's a giant. You got no shot. Go home. No, dogs. Go home. Oh my god. I love that this is like an opening scene. This massive battle. Love it. Oh. <laughs> What's up with the dramatic zooms? Wait, why are you using your fist, girl? Doesn't she have like zippity zap powers? Oh. Yeah, they're really going for the zooms. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> the zoom. Stop with the zooms. <laughs> I didn't see a single body on the battlefield. Don't tell me they did this without a single casualty. Each of you. Stefan? <coughs> <My majesty. laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna smother him and kill him with that pillow. Kill the winged creature. Upon my death, you will take the crown. Okay, so whoever kills Maleficent gets to be king. Oh, you better not. If that's Stefan and he betrays Maleficent, oh, all those poor boy jokes, I'm gonna be so proud of them. He knows her weakness, the iron. He knows it. Maleficent! 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 I've come to warn you. They mean to kill you. Oh, what? Is he a good guy? You have to trust me. I don't. I'm sorry, Steffi. I just don't. And she forgave Stefan. Ah, oh, what a poor choice. Uh, don't trust, don't drink it, don't drink it. Bad, Bad choice. Oh, no, 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 Steffi. Steffi! You traitor. Steph! You poor little barn boy. <laughs> you barn boy pussy. <laughs> oh, I think I know. Cause she loses her wings, right? That's a thing. So I think he probably is just gonna cut off her wings and then uh, present them to the king. He'll become king and be like, okay, she's dead. <sighs> her wings are gone. I knew it. I knew it. Steph. <laughs> ah, you hooded bitch. Ah, oh, I hate Steph! I have avenged you, Sire. She is vanquished. <laughs> you will be rewarded. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Damn, I feel like so much has happened in 20 minutes already. <laughs> this plot is already packed. 20 minutes in, we've had a massive battle. The king's about to die. We're about to get a new king. There's been a love story. Spent 20 minutes, man. <laughs> oh, that's her crow now. Oh, dang. What you burnt into a man. She can just say things? What? She can just say things and turn animals to humans? What have you done to my beautiful self? Would you rather I let them beat you to death? I saved your life. And in return for saving my life, I am your servant. Oh, damn, that was easy. Someone saves my life, I'm not serving them forever. I'm sorry, just not going to. Like, you pull me in front of a car, I'll be like, thank you. Here's $20. That is the extent of my gratitude. I was trying to die. I stepped in front of that car on purpose. Oh, Sour Patch Kid time. I'm ready. Steph, that just does not look right on you. I need you decapitated. Wait, did he just transform back into the bird? You're not happy. You're not happy. You have a farm boy pussy for a king. He did this to me so he would be king. Yep. Get him. Get a Mally. It's crazy how much magic power she has. Like, she could turn a crow into a man, but she can't create some new wings. Wait, is she gonna go raid the castle? Oh, she's making herself queen. At the beginning, they said they didn't have a queen or a king or royalty. They didn't need a leader. They all just worked together. But now she just created a throne. King Stefan and the queen have had a child. Oh. One word. And I can just see, I just see how much emotion's in her eyes. Just great acting. Stat, you just don't look right there. The gift of beauty. Whoa! 
There's magic for that? I want to live in that world. Only happy all the days of your life. She's pretty and happy forever. Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, well. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's an idiot. Like, he just saw three fairies who don't have the magic power that she has. He saw them give his daughter beauty forever, perpetual happiness, and he could have had a life with all that magic, all that love, and instead he turned it over. He betrays her but refuses to kill her even though she's super strong. Poor choice, Stefan. You're not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> Shall indeed. The baby looks concerned. Beloved by all who meet her. That's a lovely gift. <laughs> She's like, you can stop now. That's lovely. Great. Leave that at that. It's on her 16th birthday. She will prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. Fall into a sleep like death from which she will never awaken. Oh. I beg you. You made poor, poor choices. The princess can be woken from her death sleep, but only by true love's kiss. This curse will last to the end of time. No power on earth can change it. I don't know. I always thought that she, I always thought that she kidnapped the girl and took her with her. I thought that was what the first movie was about, but I guess not. Every spinning wheel in the kingdom. The wheels were broken and burned and thrown into the deepest dungeon in the castle. He entrusted the safety of the child to the magic of the pixies, who would take her to a remote hideaway for 16 years. Oh yeah, okay, she does go off. Okay, she's not kidnapped. But she made walls of her own, and she reveled in the sorrow that her curse had brought. She pretty evil. Like, I understand he cut your wings, but damn you straight up cursed a child and reveled in the misery of everybody that's terrible are you big enough to look after this baby gather round ladies are they gonna morph into one okay okay that's better much better they were freaking me out before and she might be hungry then feed her <laughs> just whole carrots <laughs> it's going to starve with those three looking after it Baby's being raised by a crow. <laughs> what? You two are having a go at me. Having a go at you. Man, if I didn't watch Love Island, I wouldn't know what that meant. That's clear British slang. Further consumed by paranoia and vengeance. We're trying to burn her magic wall. <laughs> Just set fire to a wall. That's not worthy of celebrating. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It took her like four seconds to build the wall the length of the entire forest. Pretty sure you got no shot against it. It is indestructible. Slap him. <laughs> Backhand. When you watch a man straight up slap another man, like that is the biggest sign of disrespect. When you punch, as a guy, when you punch a guy, you're engaging in a fight. When you backhand someone, you're teaching them a lesson. But when you slap them, when you front hand slap them, that is the greatest sign of disrespect that you could put on a man. The backhand is like a reprimand. So that was appropriate there. I kind of wanted to see the front hand slap though. Bring me the iron workers. Oh, he's just now realizing? It's been a while. That looks like a full grown babe. Like it's, she's probably like what, four now? Five years old? How old is this baby? So it's been four or five years, and you're just now realizing that iron is her weakness? You've been going at her for years. Okay, she might be two. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know baby's ages. Beast is about to fall off the cliff. Hmm. This is such like a natural arc. She like hates this child. And she should, because it's the daughter of her f first love. And the guy that betrayed her. She should hate this kid, but like the good part of her still cares, you know, and she's gonna like slowly grow to love the kid. God, what a great arc. She's front slaps the kid. <laughs> I don't like children. 
Wait, <laughs> Stefan is a moron. Because literally, he's like, we're gonna get rid of all the spinning wheels. We'll round them up in the castle, and then we'll burn them. And then he also sends his little girl away. Like, one or the other. Like, let people keep their spinning wheels if you're just gonna send her away anyways. Like, you know all the spinning wheels in the nation are gone. Or in the kingdom. They're all gone. So why would you send her somewhere where there might be a spinning wheel? You're a moron. I hate this king. I want to see him burn. Also, can I say that I love this movie so far? <laughs> this is so good. Hey, Bambi. <laughs> it just gets shot. <laughs> this is the crossover. <laughs> True love's kiss. Oh, is there gonna be a Prince Charming? What if this bird is the Prince Charming? What's happening right now? She's so powerful, Maleficent. You really couldn't grow wings? Just toying with them. <sighs> yeah, the reviews on this were mixed. It was like close to 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, but I'm enjoying this so far. Even the sound design on this I'm enjoying. I know who you are. Do you? Yeah, you're married to Brad Pitt. <laughs> you're my fairy godmother. Did they make his nose more bird-like? Or is that his real nose? Oh, it's just so beautiful! I've always wanted to come- <laughs> She's like, bitch, can you shut up? Oh, great. Steph again. You mock me. I do mock you. I know exactly what you're doing. Should I get a commentary? Okay, I'm ready for the next conflict. The movie started with a lightning pace. It was so fast, and I loved it. But now we've kind of slowed down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's having a good time again. She's coming back to her old ways. Good. Good. Something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> she's literally raising the curse. I revoke the curse. Revoke the curse. You can't. You literally put it into the spell that no magic can undo it. I revoke my curse! Let it be no more! Doesn't work like that. <laughs> Mm -mm. Sorry, Mally. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, she's literally raising the daughter of the man that betrayed her. That's so interesting. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> Get them back to work now. We're running out of time. Go on, eh? Look how dirty their teeth are. You notice that? You always see, like, historical movies where they have, like, perfect teeth, and you're like, mm. Okay. I mean, you know why, obviously, they're actors portraying something, but it's nice to see, like, the little details like that are, are in this movie. There is an evil in this world, and I cannot keep you from it. <laughs> it's because you are it. When I'm older, I'm going to live here in the malls with you. Then we can look after each other. What do you, what do you mean that's your plan? That's, like, your only option. That's all you know. <laughs> it's like you don't know of anything other than this place. I have this plan. Hear me out. I'll stay here, the only place I know that exists, and I'll live and we can take care of each other, like we've been doing. I know it's crazy, but think about it. I'll sleep in a tree and eat berries and black nuts. Oh, so technically she doesn't live in the moors currently. She lives in a house right outside the moors. I don't know. You basically live here already. Oh, is this going to be Prince Charming? Bet. I was wondering when he was gonna get introduced. Cause there's gonna have to be a kiss. Oh, why are you running up like that, homie? Why not from afar be like, hey girl? What you up to? <laughs> Stop with your insta love bullshit. Yeah, no. Kill him? Maleficent? I'm not into the insta love. What's your name? It's Philip. His name's Phil. It makes sense actually why it's insta love because for him, she's like the most beautiful woman of all time because she had the spell casted on her and everyone that sees her will fall in love with her. And for her, he's the first person she's meeting. So it actually makes sense for them to like have this instant connection. I'll let it slide because it actually logically makes sense. Will you be back this way? And she's like, no, <laughs> bye forever. Goodbye. Bye, Phil. That is definitely a prosthetic nose because like the tip is see-through. <laughs> oh! Oh! But I'll be 16 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. 
Why are you giving her the cake a day early? We are taking you back to your father with a... My father? You told me my parents were dead. Yeesh, yeah, we lied. Our bad, we lied. Oh, by the way, Santa Claus ain't real. <laughs> like, we lied, we're just gonna clear the table. When are you going to tell me that I'm cursed? Never. <laughs> Is it true? Yeah, I was the one who cursed you. <laughs> Sorry. My aunt said it was an evil fairy. Can't remember her name. They said it. <laughs> Maleficent. Wait. Does she not know her name? Is that you? How do you not know her name? Bro, lock her, lock her in. Chain her down. She can't get pricked by something if she's chained up. We found this urchin at the gate. She claims to be the princess. He's not gonna recognize her, right? He's been so consumed by like this revenge plot. You look just like your mother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Misdirect. My tiny little oh, feet. I hate that you're small again. Ah, you guys are creepy. I'm looking for a girl. Dude, it's been a day. I thought you were going to the castle. Uh oh, uh oh, ooh, it's already starting. She's just compulsed. Yeah, she's compulsed to prick herself. I don't mean for that to sound dirty. Like, I just want to clarify. Nothing weird about that. She's just gonna get pricked. <laughs> Oh man, she really hit the floor. If she does wake up, she might wake up with some brain damage. That was a tough fall. That was a tough fall. If we go inside those walls, we'll never come out alive. Bet. There's a sequel, you idiots. Your Majesty! <gasps> oh. Mistress. Oh, it's steel, isn't it? That's all steel. So if she gets stabbed by it, it's actually gonna hurt her. Yeah. Clever trap. Why do I feel like this Prince Charming thing is gonna be a misdirect? There was no connection. They met one time and they just had like a lot of awkward silence. So him kissing makes no sense. Also, he kind of looks a little bit like Flynn Rider. <laughs> Why brute force? You're magical. You can put people to sleep with the... Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. We have too much movie to go. Well, actually we don't. <laughs> no way, this is actually gonna work. It's so anticlimactic if this works. Because they really didn't struggle to get this kiss. Why is she sleeping? She had a little too much to drink last night. Do you want to kiss her? I want to do more than kiss her. She's not waking up, is she? She's not gonna wake up. You don't know her! It's not love at first sight. She don't love you. Prince P. You're a joke. You didn't do it properly! Yeah, get your tongue in there. Oh, she could kiss her, like on the cheek or something. You stole what was left of my heart, and now I've lost you forever. Yeah, you should have just cursed the king. Seems like the obvious move. Bet Maleficent kisses her. And not a day shall pass that I don't miss your smile. Well, that's nice. You'll miss me, but great. I'm still in a coma. Bet, watch, bet, mm, forehead kiss, temple kiss, love it. She gonna wake up from that. Because they didn't do a close-up on the kiss on the forehead, they're not expecting you to pick up on it, but I'm picking up on it because I'm a grown man. See? I knew it. Man, you can fool some kids, but you can't fool me, Disney. I'm an expert movie watcher, Diz. You can't get me. Uh-oh. She can turn into a dragon, yeah? Oh, back to the zooms! We're back to the zooms! <laughs> I thought we left that behind. What? Dragon? 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 Oh, I hope she turns into a dragon. Into a dragon. Oh, he's a dragon. Oh, love it. I thought it was my internet lagging. But no, they like slow mo the end of this roll. Why? That looks awful. Why did you do that? The rest of this looks amazing. A whole ass dragon. Oh, her way! Oh, is she gonna get her wings back by the end of this movie? Oh, they're coming for her. The wings are coming back to her. Turn him back into something small so that the chains would lose. Chains would loosen. Oh, Steph. Put him to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it was you. Stupid though, you could just blow him to sleep. Blow him to sleep. 
Since when was he a warrior? He was like a priest at the beginning, wasn't he? But now he's like a, in armor and with weapons. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and now she gonna kill your daddy. He was an absentee father, it's fine. <laughs> oh, is he gonna drag him? Drag him? Take him outside. Take him outside, baby. Oh, you're so screwed, homie. You're so screwed. Oh, I thought she was gonna drop him from a height. What you gonna do? Don't show him it's mercy. Over. Yeah, good. No! It's gonna backfire. I told you. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You're an idiot. Ah, oh, staff. You little barn bitch. Should have just stayed in that barn. No, you should have. You should have stayed in the forest with the magical, the super powered magical fairy, who is hot as hell. Why do you want more than that? What is what is more than that? Being married to a hot fairy, king. You had this, and you sacrificed this for this. It was a downgrade. Maleficent brought down her wall of thorns and took off her crown. Oh, that's nice. The story is not quite as you were told, and I should know, for I was the one they called Sleeping Beauty. Oh, you sound old though. Her narration sounded like she was an old woman. <laughs> he just stabs her in the face. <laughs> it's like, I bow to no queen! Okay, I have no idea what the second one is about. I just knew that the trailer looked cool. Wow, okay, this movie didn't quite go as I thought it would. I thought it was gonna show Maleficent's descent into evil, but they cover that in the first like 25 minutes and then it made her a hero again. Interesting. Wow, this was actually really good. And you're ending with the Lana Del Rey song. Great choices, movie. Great choices. All right, I'm gonna watch the trailer for the second one. Oh my God. To care for your own. That's what sold me at the end. Cause I didn't know that there was like a bunch of fairies. I'm a little bit worried that the movie, the second one is just gonna be like a reprise of the first one. Whereas like, it's very similar. Maleficent freaks out at the beginning of the movie and turns evil because Aurora wants to marry someone else and they want to take Aurora into their family. And she's like, I'm not ready to let her go. And then she goes evil and like wages war on the kingdom. Like, I don't want to see the same movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Toodles!